Yo, yo, tips. Tips. yo tips, yo tips, yo tips. Welcome back everyone. Josh here with Angling Outings and today I'm going to show you how to maintain your casting reels to where you'll get the mechanical performance out of your reels and to where it's going to live a more productive life. So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. It's Angling Outings with Josh and Cletus. Angling Outings is brought to you by our YouTube affiliates, Retro Backbeat and Josh and Joe Productions. Today's episode, Casting Reel Maintenance. I am not a real tech, but one thing I am is I'm a fisherman of 37 years as of this year. And there, if there's one thing I've picked up, it's some good tips and even better tips. This is a maintenance tip I've done with my reels for 30 years or longer and it's helped me keep my reels lasting longer and more efficiently. So today, I'm gonna show you how to do that. So this isn't one of those videos where we're gonna tear the reel apart, apply new grease and lube and all this, that, and the other. The only thing we're gonna use is a premium reel oil. And I, I use this Lucas oil. Lucas is a name I've trusted for years. It's been around a long time and it is high quality. So, it doesn't matter what kind of real oil you use, as long as it's a premium real oil, you'll be just fine. Now don't forget to go down to the description below and click on the link to where I maintain a spinning reel. And this spinning reel I've used for almost 30 years and I still use it today. So let's get on with, with today's project. All right, for starters, I'm gonna be using uh, this here, this old Daiwa bait casting reel. And I've had this around quite a while. I've used it for a few years now. Um, I'm gonna show you exactly what, what to hit when maintaining your reels. Okay. So uh, first thing you wanna hit are these uh, handle paddles. So just take your reel oil and just put a drop in there and a drop over here. Then you want to just spin your handles around. Get that oil all into those handles there. Spin that around a few times there. Okay. And um, another piece you'll want to hit, there is, I don't know how easy it is to see that, but in here, there is a, um, a little gear it's called a worm rod. And it's, uh, it's that little bar with all those little lines in it, those gear lines and stuff. So um, how you wanna do that is just go ahead and put a drop on one side like that. Do a drop on the other, okay? And then go ahead and turn your reel handles, have that line guide go back and forth several times get that all worked in there all right there we go and another one you really don't really think of is your clutch bar here uh, that clutch bar gets used a lot when you're fishing I mean at least one time per cast and um, if you're the kind that will click it to give it a little bit of line out when you got a big fish on you're gonna use it more than one time per cast so out of a day of throwing 100, 150, 200 casts, that clutch bar gets used a lot. So, what we're gonna do, is put a drop in there, just like so. Might be easier. Might be easier to engage the clutch and then work that clutch bar several times there. Okay, and another thing you wanna hit is this little cap right here. This is your tension cap. So you wanna take that off. And you'll see there's a little pin right there. A little pin right there, put a drop on there. Put your cap back on. 
So we tighten that back on there. And the next thing we're gonna do is, uh, next things that needs to be hit is gonna be inside here. So you want to pull or push that little lever to open up the side, just like that. Pull your spool out. Now, the places you'll wanna hit is, there's uh, that little pinhole right there where the spool goes into. You wanna put a drop in there, like so. Then you wanna come over here and put a drop on the tip. And you'll wanna put some oil on that post. Same thing over here, put a drop on the end and put a little oil on that post, okay? And we'll just slide it back in there, just like that. And uh, with the cap here, there is that little, that little hole there where the spool goes into. I'm gonna put a drop in there. And while we're at it, I haven't done this in a while. You don't wanna do this all the time, but you know, every year or so, or however long, uh, you wanna put a drop of oil on your magnets there. So every so often, go ahead and put a drop of oil on your magnets. And then, go ahead and put your cover back on. Like so. And turn your handle several times to work that all in there. And And there we go. We have finished oiling our reels. Now it depends on how often you fish, determines on how often you do this maintenance on these reels. If you fish a lot, then do it about every two or three months. And if you don't fish that much, then about a, every year would be acceptable. All right, that about wraps it up for today's show. So don't forget to give us a thumbs up or even a thumbs down. Yeah, we'd like to know what you think. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button down there if you haven't already. And click that bell notification so you can be notified every time we make a post here on this channel. Until next time, I'm Josh. You've been watching Angling Outings. And go on, get fishing. <laughs>